Hello, welcome to my channel. For those of you guys that are brand new, I'm Jess of Bahati Life, and for those of you guys that have been here before, welcome back. So we're gonna be talking about the new moon that's happening in the sign of Aries, March 24th, 2020. There is so much that's going on in our globe, not just our communities, not just our countries, but in our globe. And as crazy as it seems, and as crazy as it looks, it's actually for a good reason. It's actually for a higher purpose. I'm not saying this to be optimistic and to always look on the bright side because you guys know, or if you're subscribed to my channel and you've known me by now, I don't like to BS anyone or anything. I've spent my almost my entire life studying astrology and it has taught me all by itself that there is no such thing as all good or all bad. And that's what it is that we're seeing here within this chart, within this time, within this day and age. So those are some things that I wanna to talk to you for this chart of the moment and what we can experience and what it is that we're going to see and what you can do with it and how you can apply it to your life. Because I personally believe that you can take any challenge and turn it into a solution or find a solution or find a way to make it work for you and not break you. If you know how to work with the planets, you will make them work for you and not against you. I think I'm going to put that on a banner right behind me on this wall. But we'll see what happens because I'm still kind of settling into this space and seeing how I like things and going with the flow. But that's neither here nor, here, neither here nor there. So the new moon is happening in the sign of Aries. Aries is the start of the entire zodiac. I want to start off by saying that because in your personal life, in every single one of our personal lives, whatever it is that we are looking at, whatever it is that we are facing when it comes to the energy of what this new moon can bring into your life and the energy of the intention that it is that you want to set because it's through setting intention that we work our power. But this, whatever that is, it requires a healthy dose of courage. The reason why I say that is because Aries is known and is created. It doesn't matter what your sun sign is. It doesn't matter your rising sign. It doesn't matter your moon, your Venus, any of those things. Or if you feel like Aries has a strong um, position and power within your chart. Every single one of us has Aries energy somewhere within our chart ruling some aspect of our life. So whatever that is, it is at the time of this new moon, this is in your personal life, it's going to trigger an act of courage, bravery, and you are going to have to act. You are going to have to do. The thing that is standing out to me as I'm looking at this chart is we have to break free from patterns. Things that we see or that you have seen time and time and again in your life replaying itself, it's a pattern. And that's why it requires, as I'm even saying this, I'm seeing this blade at the top of my Lenormand deck right here behind my crystal. It requires you, this blade is all about cutting through the BS, cutting through the bullshit, and making a really clean slice when it comes to, I am cutting this out of my life. I am no longer going to succumb to this. I am no longer gonna allow this to take or zap my power. This is who I am now. This is who I want to be. Aries always asks the question, who am I? And then the answer is, I am fill in the blank. And it takes so much courage to step into the truth of who you are. This means that you have to embrace both sides of yourself, the good and the bad, the lovely and the mucky, the wonderful, the evil, the light and the shadow. All of those things have to be embraced. Not only does this, does this need to occur within you, but it needs to occur also in certain circumstances that are around you in our environment. I don't wanna talk about the coronavirus because I have three videos detailing the coronavirus and what's going on in our government, our politics. This is something that I've been talking about the last month and then some. So if you wanna observe and re-listen or listen to for the first time what I see for the coronavirus, what's going on in our politics, our government, in our health, in our communities, in our society, then you can check those videos out. I'll link them down below. 
but even things like the coronavirus you have to see the good and the bad of it the dark and the light that is making it what it is and we have to learn how to work with both sides of that so it takes courage to see something for what it is and then say you know what i'm not going to to you know put this in one category and say that this is something that i you know that is bad or amazing it is what it is and with that i'm going to break the pattern there as i'm looking at the chart there is mars pluto saturn jupiter in the sign of capricorn capricorn is so the energy of capricorn is so powerful for every single one of us right now on a large grand scale again we're seeing in our government our politics with the breakdown of power of structures of rules regulations but also in our personal life we are asking ourselves Am I stable here? Am I secure? What can I count on? What am I committed to? I have to re-examine, re-evaluate all of those things that I've been placing my foundation on. Re-examine because Mercury was, you know, doing the most when it comes to kind of re-evaluating our purpose, re-evaluating our existence and how we heal ourselves or hurt ourselves and also revisiting this bigger picture. But it's not just these one specific transits that are impacting us. It's everything as a whole collectively. This, this, how each energy comes in and how it impacts us, that's what we have to look at. I would be naive as an astrologer and very juvenile to say that it's only this one aspect. I'm, I'm breaking down all these tiny aspects and showing you the bigger picture and how it impacts us as a whole. So as Pluto, the planet of destruction, rebirth, um, and regeneration is moving through Capricorn as Mars, the planet of action, ambition, and war, and the warrior is moving through Capricorn as Saturn ruling Capricorn um, um, and also rule structure, uh, rules, regulations, commitments, established organizations and stuff like that as that is moving or was moving to the sign of Capricorn because soon it's going to be moving into the sign of, of Aquarius and Jupiter, the planet of abundance, expansion, and growth is moving to the sign of Capricorn. All this energy is highlighted. And how this comes into play under the light or the lack thereof of, of, of the new moon is the fact that this new um, birth, this new energy that is trying to express itself, that's trying to reveal itself, that need, that will, will manifest but we want to make sure that however this energy is going to manifest, that it be something that is solid, that has structure, that we can count on, that is stable, that is healthy, and that will serve us for the long haul and also for the greater good. The reason why is that if we do not know ourselves and know what we want and know where we're going and you know really embrace that and pursue that, then the universe, the planets, the like the you know the energy will work to destroy and to break down anything that will not make it in the long haul. So we have to really embrace this this um, I don't want to say identity, but the word that's coming through is like identity crisis. Like this is when how you know yourself to be or how you know something to be when you realize that it is not accurate, that it's not, um, that it wants to evolve or that it needs to evolve, we end up feeling like we go into crisis mode. And the reason why is because our energy senses that this is not right and that this is not who I am, which is the core of what Aries energy brings. It says, this is who I am. This is what I can do. So when you sit and it, for some of you guys, you know, the last, few weeks, you've spent a lot of time reflecting in meditation for the majority of us because that's the way the planets have been guiding us to be, is to be very reflective. That's almost forced on us now because of what's going on in, in the, the planets, what's going on in our government, in our, in our world. So there is this, this um, reflection that is happening, but I'm actually seeing it be very active. To be, to sit for too still for too long doesn't seem constructive. It feels like it will almost get irritated. 
I'm almost getting a sense that by looking at the chart that there are people that will be triggered by their own irritability, by their own agitation. Some things can be triggered by external circumstances, watching the news, seeing certain things and being like, oh my God, I hate that. I don't like that. It's very, it's very aggressive. If you're, if you're not a person who would normally use the words like hate, you can almost find yourself saying things like that. Like I'm not a person who uses the word hate very often or at all. But that's the energy. It's very irritable. It's very aggressive. It's very agitated. And when you observe that agitation, when you observe this crisis, again, this is because you are being called to do differently, to break the pattern, to break the cycle, to be a part of the breaking of the cycle. So instead of looking at that and, and feeling defeated or feeling disappointed in yourself for getting annoyed and agitated, realize that, again, you have to put things into context, meaning that you, there's not, not everything is all good or all bad. It just serves its purpose. It's energy expressing itself. So that's what it is I'm seeing for, for every single one of us is that in this time, under the light of the Aries new moon, you are redefining yourself and we as a whole as a population are re redefining who we are and our actions are not are now going to reflect this new identity our actions should reflect this new identity they should they should be a reflection of what it is that we see for ourselves and uh, what it is that we see for ourselves and this new life this new um i don't say journey but this new identity this new um, space that it is that we're walking in into as a greater good as a whole but also intimately and personally it's going to require us to take the first step we're going to have to be courageous and leaders in our own in our own mind in our own right that's the first thing that as i said at the start of this video was it's going to require someone to be very every single one of us to be very courageous very bold and, and to believe in ourselves and to take that first step. The universe right now supports those who take the first step. Those that take this quiet space, which is not quiet. It's very agitated, it's very irritated, but it seems like there isn't a lot going on. It feels like we're not progress progressing forward. It's because all of the energy is getting pressure right now. It's, it, there's so much pressure getting pushing, pushing down on it. And it stirs us into action. It stirs us into moment momentum. Why? Because Mars is conjunct Pluto, Saturn, and Jupiter is only lighting the match even further. Aries, the, the time of this new moon, it's, it blankets us in a space of total darkness. The new moon is dark. It's in that darkness that we have to sit in the stillness of it and really feel what we're feeling, see what we're seeing, hear what we're hearing, think what we're thinking, and say, it is what it is. All of this for good, how if we deem it good or bad, it's, it's, it's just energy at the end of the day. And I have to respect how I'm feeling, respect what my calling is, and I'm going to emerge from this a new person. I'm going to take the pressure, I'm going to take this heat, and I'm going to allow it to turn me into a resilient, brilliant, thriving individual. My, I break the pattern, the cycle, this repeating cycle of toxicity or um, not stepping into my purpose, feeling like knowing that there's things that it is that I have to do, knowing that there's things that it is that I want to do, and then not doing it. Now I decide my action is going to reflect who I am. Some of, a lot of us have been numbing ourselves. We've been sitting really still. We've been sitting very quiet. I'm pulling the cards as we speak. We've been sitting very still and quiet, trying to convince ourselves that we don't really want what it is that we want or um, waiting for someone else to do it for us. At the time of the new moon, you have to sit in that darkened space. The new moon is a dark, is the, is the darkness, the darkest that the moon can be. And without darkness, you know, like there can be no light. Like we don't take away darkness. Darkness just exists. Darkness just is. So we have to embrace the fact that sitting in the dark, not knowing and only having what it is that we have within us to observe it, to, to observe it, to sit, to be silent is going to be all that we need in order to make major changes. 
Now at the top of this tarot reading, I'm seeing the world card. I'm also seeing the Knight of Swords. This to me has fate, karma, destiny, purpose written all over it. It becomes an undeniable truth that we can no longer ignore. It sits in our face, it pulls at our hair, it rips at our skin and it says, Georgia, Diane, George, Jessica, Rebecca, whoever, Mike, it is time for you to stop running away and step truly, take that first step. If you're feeling sensitive, if you're feeling triggered, if you're feeling provoked, that's a good thing. Again, the word that was coming through was identity crisis. And that is, I feel like that's the word that is spirit is calling me to use right now because how we know ourselves to be is getting revelation, it's getting revolutionized. So we get sensitive in that because when we're sensitive, we're vulnerable, we're open, we're susceptible to change, to a transition. This is what has been going on you know, the weeks to come, but now at the new moon, we are spurred into action. This is when we create the plan, but more than that, we act on the plan. We actually do the do. This is a person who says, listen, all the facts tell me that I should be working out. All of the facts, everything put into consideration says, I need to work out. I need to do better. I need to take better care of myself. And at the time of the new moon, you say, I'm going to do that work up, workout plan. I'm going to set this into motion. I'm not going to talk about it. I'm only, I'm going to be about it. The world card again says all of the things, everything that brought us here is why we are here. And the Knight of Swords says, what are you going to do? Do it. So the cards that it is I'm seeing in the near past, something that is adding to this energy is the death card reversed, the 10 of pentacles and the four of cups reversed. This shows me that there has been something in your life. It brings me back to what it was. I was originally saying patterns, this cycle, especially with the world card here, you have realized that it didn't serve you, that it doesn't serve you, it doesn't feel good, it doesn't add value to your life. If it did add some type of value, it was to the old identity. This is the new you, the new life, the new birth that is supposed to be of abundant and of greater value. Ten of Pentacles knows all about value. It's more than things that we can touch. It's about what is most important to us, to you, to us as a whole, as a greater good. That's what's being examined right here. And from that, we take the first step. The other, the other thing, yes, oh my God, you guys, look at these cards. Look at these cards. The next card that it is I'm seeing, the next group of cards that is contributing to the energy of this new moon is three of wands. I just want to stop right there and say, you know that there is better for you. That is why you're so irri irritated. That's why you're so irritable. That's, be that's why you want more. That's why you expect more from yourself, from others, from the world, because you have a sense deep within your spirit that says in all of this, I know that there is more out there for me. I, it's not, it's not even an intuitive feeling. It's, it's like, I know that there, it can be better. It intellectually makes sense. It logically makes sense that this could be better. Why am I still sitting here waiting for someone else to provide it when I can take the steps to get me there all by myself or with this unit, with this group? Because there is an energy of collaboration, especially with the world card here, 10 of pentacles, um, the Empress energy, there's so six of swords, seven of pentacles. These are, it just gives me the space of collaboration, but you deciding and knowing because the last few weeks I've been saying discernment. Remember I was telling about talking about this discernment, discernment, being very conscious and aware of who, what you're placing your energy and what you're allowing into your body. Do you guys remember that? And now we're look at look at the state of the world currently. That makes a lot of sense that discernment was coming through because it's being very conscious and observant of who you're spending your time with, what you're watching, what you're listening to, what you're hearing, what you're ingesting how people that are around you are living their lives because it inevitably impacts you and how you live yours, whether you want to believe that or not. So this is what it is that I'm saying. This, this next energy is this sense of, I know that there's something out there for me. Like I expect it. It's more than I know. I literally expect it. I'm, I'm waiting for it. It's only a matter of time before it comes up over the horizon. Seven of pentacles reversed says, I don't want to like, and then 10 of swords says, stop looking for it. 
I'm getting this sense of stop digging, 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 pick your head up and move. It is time for you to move. Everything is saying at the time of the new moon, action, action, action. If you're irritable, if you're irritated, if you're annoyed, get yourself out of that. The death card reverse says that this energy, this pattern wasn't working and hasn't been working. And yet we almost were expecting that it would change, that it would switch up. And now it says at the time of this, the new moon, the intention should be, well, now I'm going to do differently. Now I'm going to move differently. Now I'm going to actually like speak it, be it, do it. This is a new identity from this space of crisis, from this space of dysfunction, from this space of chaos and discord. It makes us better. We don't want to run from the darkness. We want to sit in it and be like, okay, this is what it is. Now let me go ahead and come out. From all of that, I learned so much. But from that, I'm going to reemerge new, brand new, new life. The other energy that is adding in, adding value to us right now, two of wands, six of swords, and the empress reverse. Now, with the two of wands it's and the six of swords, it, this is about saying, I decide that I am going to mentally move forward, but where do I want to go? This is when it brings me back to what it was that I was originally saying, this identity crisis. You are being re, uh, you have a new identity. You have a new purpose, a new sense of being, a new reason for life. You may have had a life filled with purpose, but your destiny, your fate, your karma right now is saying that what do we want to take with this? How, if I truly see myself as this thing, what changes do I have to do now in order to match this new life, in order to match this new energy? This all gets called into play and it starts by taking that first step. The universe responds to people who don't just put out intention, but they make and create the space for this new life, this new, this new whatever it is that they're welcoming, welcoming in. It's not only about stating your intention, it's about preparing for it. That's why I feel that this card of expectancy is here. It's more than I feel this, it's like I truly expect it to just come up over the horizon. And if that truly was the case, am I ready to make space? Do I have the space for it in my life right now? Do I, if it was to knock on my door, would would I be able to open the door comfortably and allow it in? And if not, do everything in your power now to create the space so that it, you are ready. Because it is only a matter of time. Oh my God, look at this little beetle. <sighs> Bye guys. <laughs> That's so cute. See? It's like this little thing that wants to just land on you and say, here I am. Here I am. <laughs> with the Empress reversed here, I do want to sit with this. I feel like this is going to be controversial for some people to hear it, but it is what it is. Um, I'm just the messenger at this point. So with the Empress reversed, this is telling me that there's a lot of us, whether you're masculine, whether you um, see yourself as more masculine energy or more feminine energy, it doesn't matter. This fits us across the board. It says, remember who you are, remember your worth, remember your value, but also I'm all, I'm seeing this space of it's not so much about you receiving as much as it is rolling your sleeves up and putting, like kind of launching the boat yourself. Now that would be something that the emperor energy would normally do, but I feel as though the empress says, I know that I, I don't want to get in this boat. Like look at this boat, you guys. I don't know if you guys can see that. Let me do the Instagram influencer hands, but there's this boat that's on the water, that's on the shore. And for a lot of you guys, you're sitting in the boat and you're like, I'm waiting for someone to launch me out so that I can move forward with my life, so that I can break free from this pattern, so I can break free from this old thing that hasn't been serving me. And I'm just getting the sense of spirit saying, listen, get out and push that boat yourself and you're gonna get a little dirty it's gonna take courage on your part in order to even launch yourself into the unknown. But we want you to do that and we want to encourage you to do that. I feel as though that there's been a healthy space, a healthy time spent with receiving downloads, receiving information, receiving guidance from your spirit guides, receiving guidance from your angels, your spirit protectors. 
But there comes a, sp a part where it's like, okay, now what are you gonna do with that information? Now what? Um, the other thing that is coming through for me with the Empress energy is back to remember who it is that you are. Do you remember how I was saying, see, look, this boat really wants to get out there. You really want to move forward. Spirit really wants you to move forward, to embrace this new, new, this new life. But with the Empress energy, some of you guys, because of everything that it is that you've gone through, let's have a vulnerable moment really quickly. Because of everything that it is that you have gone through, and it has been a lot, some of you guys have taken real hits to your self-esteem. You're not known to be someone who doesn't have a healthy sense of like good um, self-esteem and value. But sometimes when certain things happen and kind of beat us up, we learn to be resilient, but we also feel the suffering, the pain of what that resiliency, why that, resi why that resiliency was originally called to be there in your life. And it can really take a beating on self-love. We can do a lot of things on the external in order to give to ourselves in an act of self-love. But sometimes emotionally, mentally, we have to reprogram ourselves to remember that we deserve more than what it is that we've been given. And we have to be confident in our ability to choose the right thing moving forward. I'm getting a sense with the Empress Reverse that there's a lot of insecurity, that when you look at yourself, you might be picking apart at yourself, you might be picking apart at your situation, or beating yourself up for not doing or being, you know, whatever. And with the Empress Energy, it's this, that's why I'm also getting a sense of identity crisis, because it's almost like this, you know, this old, this belief that it is that you have that's dysfunctional, that's an illusion that is playing out in your brain and the Empress energy reversed and all of what's happening at the Aries new moon, it says, have courage again, believe in yourself, have power, step into that power. You're sensitive, you're vulnerable. Yes, it's been a journey, but also see that the darkness, all that you have gone through, it actually adds value to you. It makes you more of a complex creature. It makes adds more layers to what makes you so unique. And there's we live in a world where a lot of things are plastic. We live in a world where a lot of things all look alike. And sometimes it can be really hard. And I feel like a lot of you guys know this, but you have to hear it again and you have to believe it. But a lot of you guys, it's like, you know, you can your confidence really took a beating. Your your goddess energy took a beating. It feels brutalized almost. It feels like it was like brutally ripped apart, like disintegrated. And that's why with the Empress energy showing up reversed, it's like, listen, it's we really want you to, to break free from that suffering, that struggle, okay? Now my battery is about to die and I don't want it to. So let me just give you guys this final card, this final message. See, I heart you. The universe says, listen, you are chosen, you are supported, you are loved just for who you are. Give yourself a chance. Give yourself a chance, move from your heart. See me in their eyes, see me how I see you. Remember who you are, remember your value. You are chosen. And the last card is be true to yourself. Convince yourself, not others, and time for a love fest. This is, everything is telling me right here, right now. I have chills. So my battery is about to die, you guys. Make sure that you are subscribed to my YouTube channel because there's plenty more videos where this came from. Thank you so much for your comments, your likes, and your shares, and I'll see you in my next one. New Moon's blessings. Bye.